the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. When human beings began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that these daughters were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, Holy Spirit, we are not content with human beings forever, for they are mortal. Their days will be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward. When the sons of God went to the daughters of the human beings and had children by them, they were the heroes of old, men of renown. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race that I have created. And with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that move along the ground. But they will break down the them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jacob. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all of them. For the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both of them. And the earth shall make yourself an ark of slanderous wood, make rooms of the dignity. The ark is to be 300 cubits high, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Make a roof for it. Even below the roof, and take the one cubit and the one more. Put a door in the side of the ark and make a door in the middle of it and on the decks. And you're going to bring floodwaters on the earth to destroy all life under there. Every creature that has the bread of life in it, everything on earth will perish. But I will establish my covenant with me, and you will enter the ark. You and your sons and your wife and your son's wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out it for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament, use the New Testament in the morning, and at uh, night time, use the Old Testament, and incorporate that as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example, let's actually go ahead and do that as well, use it on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can come and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's let's get it one day at a time. You know, and what I like to do is I'm excited because I think it's been coming because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody. And I encourage many of you to do that. 
The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, here's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time, with your morning evening prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called, how much, it was called LifeWay Research Did It, how much of the Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none. 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to get it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you don't have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church there, when the man said, let's turn to such and such chapter, you can sit there and say, I did that. I read that chapter. And, and then you can get some more comments on that so that you start understanding what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in. Amen? Hey. I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right, so get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we'll be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. But what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and see you. Bye-bye. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter. You don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this matter, therefore pray ye, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, which is what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning a daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily, as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the word of God. We ain't talking about local bread, we're talking about the word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Amen. For if you give men their trespasses, you have Father also to forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ is telling you, it's important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven to forgive you. But if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen. And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who will have all men to be saved and come to unto the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. And there's no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, and so then every one of us shall get an account of himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pass it and tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen. So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you, I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily and pray His will, pray His word. That's what, therefore, when you ask for things, you should line up with His word. Amen. And He wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen. All right. God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.